name is Cyrus Grissom, a.k.a. Cyrus the Virus. These are the guys best known for getting taken to the slammer. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movie convicts. Mud. You can call me Mud. For this list, we're looking at the most memorable and or iconic fictional convicts who, whether or not they're guilty, must be sentenced for a crime in their films. Woman, your words mean nothing to me! So that means we're excluding Charles Bronson from 2008's Bronson, as he is based on a real-life person and is not a fictional character. My name's Charles Bronson. Number 10. Libby Parsons, Double Jeopardy. Yeah, I just have to check in with my parole officer first. Being framed for murder might be all right, as long as nobody believes you did it. Why aren't you listening to me? I am innocent. Accused of murdering her husband during a yacht trip, Libby is woefully arrested after being caught with a bloody knife by the Coast Guard. Morning, Star! This is the Coast Guard! Put the knife down, ma'am, and step away! This is nowhere near the end for our tenacious heroine as she discovers her husband may have framed her in a life insurance scam. You shoot me, they'll give you the gas chamber. No, they won't. It's called double jeopardy. I learned a few things in prison, Nick. After being paroled six years later, she ultimately joins up with Tommy Lee Jones and is all set to take her husband down. I learned a few things in prison, Nick. I could shoot you in the middle of Mardi Gras and they can't touch me. As an ex-law professor, I can assure you she is right. You know what they say, hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. I don't want to kill you, Nick. I just want you to suffer like I suffered. Number 9. Captain John Patrick Mason, The Rock. He's getting very heavy. Can we pull him up? Imprisoned without charges, Sean Connery proves you can be convicted of anything, regardless of whether or not you're a Bond actor. But I don't know you. That's what I want to change, right? After being committed to Alcatraz for 30 years, the 60-year-old convict was the only person to ever escape the San Francisco island when he did so in 1963 via a series of underground tunnels. I'm here because a special situation exists that we feel you might be able to help us with. Now what might that be? Impressive enough already, his classy yet witty attitude greatly benefits an already awesome character. Holding nothing back in his performance, we can imagine Connery went home with the prom queen after shooting this action flick. Your best. Losers always whine about their best. Winners go home and f the prom queen. Number 8. Roxy Hart, Chicago. You son of a bitch! Lights, murder, jazz. In their rendition of uh -uh. The Cell Block Tango. This musical has it all, and Roxy Hart is trying to take it. Give him just enough to get him good and hungry. And always leave him wanting more. Based on the musical of the same name, which in turn was very loosely based on real events, Chicago is the story of the struggle for fame and riches, and the lengths to which one will go to build one's name. Meaning what? Meaning, don't let him hog the spotlight. In Roxy's case, she takes a murder rap and turns it into overnight notoriety, stealing the spotlight from her fellow inmate on Murderess's Row, Velma Kelly. Oh, I only hope the fall didn't hurt the baby. From tampering with evidence to faking a pregnancy, Roxy does whatever it takes to get out of the slammer and keep her name in the headlines. Think of those autographs outside. Good luck to ya. Roxy. Number 7. Ulysses Everett McGill, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? I am a man of constant sorrow. He's a man not necessarily of constant sorrow, but one with a simple plan. <laughs> I have no plan. But that heartless sound like you. Escaping from a chain gang at Parchman Farm in 1937, McGill and his band of friends chase down the treasure that he claims he stole from an armored car. Me? What are you going to do with your share of the treasure? McGill's adventurous nature takes him all across America and even has him and his friends going so far as to masquerade as a band called the Soggy Bottom Boys. Creativity and charisma are the traits that make this convict a favorite of ours. I've seen Number 6. Cameron Poe, Con Air. I said, put the bunny 
back in the box. Nicolas Cage is certainly no stranger to playing convicted criminals. After his character's arrest in Raising Arizona and subsequent baby stealing, Cage takes to the skies as a former army ranger convicted of manslaughter and excessive violence in this 97 action flick. I have the only gun on board. Welcome to Con Air. Sentenced to seven to 10 years, Poe is paroled after eight years and set to be released after riding in the famous Jailbird aircraft. Oh, nothing. Except they somehow managed to get every creep and freak in the universe onto this one plane. Luckily, those acts of excessive violence come back to help him fend off would-be attackers, including John Malkovich's Cyrus the Virus. To be honest, though, we're more surprised by the fact that he wasn't taken down for excessive hair. What do you think I'm going to do? I'm going to say the f***ing day. Number 5. Dr. Hannibal Lecter, The Silence of the Lambs Good morning. We certainly have an appetite for this famous psychiatrist, and he probably has an appetite for us too. As a committed high-class serial killer, Hannibal Lecter takes a new spin on the style of slasher villains. People will say we're in love. Not satisfied by merely killing his victims, he chows down on them to the tune of majestic violins. A census taker once tried to test me. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. Bravado and class accompanies Anthony Hopkins' performance of a genius movie convict who's managed to escape prison multiple times. I do wish we could chat longer, but I'm having an old friend for dinner. Number four, John Coffey, The Green Mile. I was 44 the year that John Coffey walked the Green Mile. Big and bold is the first impression we get of this convicted sex offender. But that's before you fully see and understand him. Take my hand, boss. You see for yourself. Cold Mountain Penitentiary is filled to the brim with potentially memorable movie convicts, such as the violently psychotic Wild Bill. Y'all wanna come on in here just a little? You can shine my knob for me. But it's the shy and soft-spoken John Coffey that wins our hearts with his magical healing powers. <laughs> his attitude is unlike anything you'd expect, as he even refuses to leave prison because of the hurt and pain that befalls the world. Do you have anything to say before a sentence is carried out? I'm sorry for what I am. He's one of the more tender convicts on our list, and we wouldn't have it any other way. These lots of folks here hate me. Lots. Number three, Andy Dufresne, The Shawshank Redemption. Since I am innocent of this crime, sir, I find it decidedly inconvenient that the gun was never found. Accused of murdering his wife, this quiet banker is committed to one of the most intimidating prisons depicted on the big screen, Shawshank State Penitentiary. Welcome to Shawshank. Played by Tim Robbins, Andy Dufresne is never shown murdering his wife or denying it. And as such, audiences go through most of the film never truly knowing. Why'd you do it? I'm innocent, Red. Holding on to the hope of his freedom for years on end, Andy brings about friendship, community, and companionship to his fellow man inside Shawshank, and proves himself a very clever man, changing the prison's landscape forever. Get busy living. You get busy dying. Number two, Max Cady, Cape Fear. <laughs> Convicted of sexual assault, this Robert De Niro character is released with a simple idea on his mind, revenge. 14 years ago, I was forced to make a commitment to an eight by nine cell. Now you're gonna be forced to make a commitment. Based on the 1962 psychological thriller, which was in turn based on John D. McDonald's novel, The Executioners, Cape Fear sees Katie out to take down his defense attorney, who is responsible for burying evidence during his trial and ultimately sending him to prison. I learned that in prison, you like? White trash piece of shit. <laughs> so focused is Katie on his goal of justice that he has his outlook tattooed on his back. An insane megalomaniac who loves a good smoke, De Niro brings a true hardiness to the evils of his character, which makes Max Cady hard to forget. Tonight you're gonna learn to be an animal, to live like an animal and to die like one. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. 
You'll be out of here in no time. Come on, man. It's a piece of cake, man. I right? Just take it easy on the brothers, I right? The brothers! Come on, let's kill him! Wait! I did my waiting! Twelve years of it! In Azkaban! What do you need? I need to get into the isolation area. No, you really don't. Yeah, I really do. Well, I was in such a state of shock. I completely blacked out, I can't remember a thing. It wasn't until later, when I was washing the blood off my hands, I even knew they were dead. I just want to say, I think killing is wrong. No matter who does it, whether it's me or y'all or your government. Number one, Dr. Richard Kimball, The Fugitive. Are you suggesting that I killed my wife? In this action flick, Harrison Ford is the prominent vascular surgeon who stumbles upon his own wife's murder and ends up the number one suspect. When I came home, there was a man in my house. I fought with this man. Uh -huh. Whatever. He had a mechanical arm. Plastic you find this man. You find this man. Convicted of first degree murder and headed to death row. He's caught up in a prison break attempt aboard a bus before his execution, which lands him on the run from the cops and in pursuit of his own wife's killer. Based on the TV series of the same name, The Fugitive allows Ford to play an everyman type of character who is perfect for a situation such as this. So it's not hard to see why he's our top movie convict. I didn't kill my wife! I don't care! Do you agree with our list? Well, thank you for making my point. Which convicts have escaped from our list? For more jailbreaking top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. As for Andy, he spent that break hunkered in the shade, a strange little smile on his face, watching us drink his beer. Mm -hmm.